Good morning, Disney Cruisers. It is a great big beautiful morning today as we are on day three of our Disney Cruise Line vlog here on the Disney Wish. Today we are at Castaway Key as you can see behind me. We're going to explore the island, show you some cool things we're going to do, and then it's also Pirate Night. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and let's go have some fun. Six Promenade, where it is the very front of the ship. They just rose the Disney Cruise Line flag because we are approaching Castaway Key, Disney's private island. The sun has just risen about 20 minutes or so ago, and we're approaching port. Look at that view. We've made it to the Castaway Key in the Bahamas, Disney's private island. We're here actually on the 11th deck of Marceline Market, which we're gonna have some breakfast. Show you that real quick, and then we're gonna head to the island. Today for my breakfast, I'm gonna have a Mickey waffle, some corned beef hash, some sauteed mushrooms and bacon. Anthony's got himself a chorizo benedict there and some bacon. We're gonna enjoy this, and of course, being Disney, unlimited Mickey waffles is a must. So we have those as well as uh, tons of other stuff on the buffet. But I think I'm gonna do this because we gotta show you the awesome food they're gonna have on the island a little bit later. And we have now stepped off the ship and are on Castaway Key. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Finally back to Castaway Key after uh, oh, a year, a year. Yeah, just about. All right. It was so fun. It's so pretty. One nice thing as well here at Castaway Key, they do provide you with towels, so you don't have to bring them from your stateroom. So we're grabbing our towels now. Anthony's grabbing that, so we can head out to the island tram. Here's a great view of the aft of the Disney Wish. You can see Rapunzel there on the back. But we're heading this way, onward. We're headed to Cargo Handling, which is the first tram stop here with service to Scuttles Cove and Castaway Beach. And the next tram arrival is, well, right about now. All the short time was at 8.30 this morning, which is when we pretty much got on Castaway Key. But our big thing that we're gonna have is at 10 a.m. So of course, in real time for you guys, it's not gonna be very long. We have to wait a little bit because we're doing something really awesome and we wanna show you that. We're gonna be heading over to Castaway Ray Stingray Adventure for a fun Stingray experience. Something that we tried to do last year, we didn't get to because of high winds, but now we get to get this on the vlog for you. So we're here out on the beach. This is actually the first tram stop where we're gonna have the Stingray Adventure. Again, since we have some time, just wanted to show you a little bit of the scenery. Of course, our party's right over here. We got here early enough to where there's plenty of seating available on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Anthony is on the sand, about to get into the water, and Lorelai's already made herself uh, comfortable here in the water there. How's the water, Lorelai? It's amazing, it's really nice and wet. Nice and wet, that's that's usually how water should be. That's usually properties of water. And Anthony, how is it there? Trying to get your uh, feet wet, uh, so to speak, literally and figuratively. How is it? It's nice actually. Very nice? Okay, yeah, that, that's actually kind of cold. Ooh. Kind of cold? I like it. Well, you know, you just got to get acclimated to it a little bit. Ooh. Even better? Yeah, that feels nice. Don't worry. Hey, there's seats over there. Maybe you can take one of those seats. I don't see anyone taking them. Or, or, or maybe not, I don't know. I'm going to be squishing up sandberries. Making sandberries? Yeah. Yeah, whatever that is. Okay. I'm doing. All right. This. Sounds good. Oh, okay. She's making sand patties. Making wine. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I, I get it. I get it now. You're, you're squishing. It's like the, I, that old I Love Lucy episode. Have you seen that episode, Lorelai? No. No? Okay. Yeah, they've actually gotten into what I Love Lucy, but Anthony's sitting there in the chair in the water. And uh, Lorelai's uh, making some sandberries. There you go. You can't beat a Disney paradise such as Castaway Key. The Stingray Adventure, which we're going to do here in just a second, as I mentioned, is something new for us. So we're going to bring you along that journey. We get to touch them, feed them, and even snorkel with them. So I think we're going to cut to that, put the GoPro on, of course, and take you for a little adventure in the snorkeling with the Stingrays and feeding Stingrays. Excitement that it is. I don't know the official name right now. Honestly, don't care. We're having fun, as I've said before. These are not going to be your typical structured vlogs. We're just taking you through our day. And then tonight, again, as I mentioned, Pirate Night. So stay tuned. Let's get snorkeling and feeding some stingrays. We've got the GoPro on. I'm in the water. It is kind of cold, but it uh, looks like Lorelai has found some wildlife in the water. What are we looking at, Lorelai? Tadpoles! Oh, okay. Oh, they're not tadpoles. That's just a... a tiny fish. Yeah, a tiny sea of fishies in there. Let's see if we can go under and see. I'm not sure if you guys could see those, but the little fishy minnows basically were in there. Uh, we're gonna see what else we can find under this water. Not ready for Stingray Adventure yet, but we're gonna take you on a little Castaway Key water adventure. And then actually under here, there's a huge fish. We're gonna go under again. Those things are humongous. They're much bigger than what we've seen in the past. Very cool. So Anthony and I decided to take some of these uh, chairs and uh, we have them plopped into the water because you can do that. And what did you think of the fish so far? I don't think it's a fish. Not gonna lie. Don't know why, but I actually wasn't expecting to see like any wildlife in the ocean besides the stingrays, which we're going to do later. And actually seeing those fish here was really cool, in my opinion. It was, it was really, really cool. And this isn't our first time at Castaway Key. This is actually our fifth time. We've been on a Disney Cruise five times. And I think this might be the first time that he's actually really been in the water and experienced this. Oh yeah. Besides the first, the fir uh, very first cruise, I actually went on Pelican Plunge. Learn the hard way you're supposed to plug your nose. Yeah, but since then I haven't really gone in, gone into the water. It's actually kind of nice. We're just enjoying the beach until it's time for us to go see some stingrays. Again, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's just see what else we find. We're in the water, as you can see from this point of view. Can't see the ship, but it's, actually you can't see the ship. There's the Disney Wish right over there. But there's a snorkeling lagoon to the left of us. There's some guests and rafts. And what's great, is the fact that if you see the water line, it's only up to my stomach. So, you know, we're pretty decent ways from the, from the sh shore, and the water is not that deep. You could actually go out further and really have a good spot before you get into deep water. Like with anything Disney, if you look further out, you will see there's lifeguards stationed, especially in that deep end, and then over in really all the areas. But check out that beach. Castaway Key is awesome and amazing to say the least. One of our favorite things to do while on the Disney cruise. So just being out here in the water and just experiencing what's just true nature. It's amazing. I think it's about time to go see some stingrays. Let's go. It's time to head to Castaway Ray's Stingray Adventure. <laughs> We've donned our snorkel gear. They give you the vest as well as the snorkeling gear and we're heading in for the little tutorial presentation to see what we need to do. And inside the little hut, they have some cool little things here. The manta rays, 22 feet wide, and 2,000 pounds. The largest of all the rays. Rays have no bones. It's made of fungus. 96 species of rays. Take this, right? Here's the little Stingrays of the Caribbean, with the southern eagle rising. 
Spotted Spotted Eagle Yellow, Yellow Student Ray, Pelagic Student Ray, and Southern Student Ray. Short most electric ray, small space of time, size of the pancake, the other rays can go up to six feet. The skates look like a rainbow hat in the state. So the ray that we'll be interacting with today is known as the Southern Stingray. The Southern Stingray is one of the six known Stingray species found here in the Bahamas and the rest of the Caribbean. These rays are so common around the Keys, we are able to have 49 of them inside the lagoon, and all 49 of our Southern Stingrays are female. The cool thing about the female Southern Stingrays is that they are the largest and the most dominant of the species, whereas these ladies are capable of having a maximum wingspan of six feet wide. So you will have the opportunity to pet these girls and you can pet them all along the way. They're gonna feel a little bit soft and it's a little bit slimy. That's because they secrete a very thin layer of mucus that helps to protect their bodies. If you take your hand and you rub it down to the very center of the ring, this area is gonna feel a little bit rough and a bit rigid. This portion on the ring here is just known as the tail. So the stinger on the bar is normally found four to six inches away from the base of the body and on the top of the tail, it flares out just like a fingernail. And exactly like a fingernail, that is how we trim or we flip the stingray's bar. This process absolutely does not hurt the girls. We do it every three months, and we just did it two weeks ago, which means the stingrays inside the lagoon over there, they do not have their barbs to their stingers, so they cannot sting you. We're headed to our feeding station. Feeding station number two. We're all here. We got Diana and Anthony in the back. Skylar, Will, Sarah, Wyatt, and Lorelai. Where's the fish? And there's the Disney Wish right over there. Huge baby. Are they coming? Huh? All right, guys. Welcome to Stingray Adventure Castaway Key. My name is Lily. I'll be your Stingray facilitator for today. I'll be teaching you guys how to feed our fish All right. Now they're all trying to come up on the left hand side. Exit on the right. Any ways that enters on the right or make a spin is considered cheek. Please do not feed them because they're all trying to come up on the left hand side. Okay, guys. You see their fish yellow. Also known as their vitamin or protein bar. Squid and shrimp. All right. So you're gonna take the food. Place it on the Mickey target, also known as the dinner plate. Once the ray come on up, you're gonna release the food and remove your hand, okay guys? You're not gonna push your hand into her mouth. She don't have teeth, but she do have plates. I don't want you guys to feel the suction, all right? So you can feed at the same time. You don't have to wait to take turns. You can also feed her all the food that I give you, all right? Okay. Once the girl come on up, you can pet her. Just be careful of her eyes, okay? If you guys have questions, feel free to ask any questions like that, that you have, okay? okay. All right. Of course, I got the Oh, look at that. Guys, this is Rainbow Bright. <laughs> and that's how it is done. Alright? Hello girl. That's so cool. Those are huge. Hello. Oh wow, it went right over my foot. That was weird. Oh wow. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. She's coming back up. <laughs> Hi, Mary Kate. Hello, well, hello. Splash me all over the place. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi there. <laughs> they come to right behind you. Oh my gosh, that's just so cool. Alright, did you guys enjoy a 
That's so cool. Yeah. Round of applause. Yay. So hopefully you enjoyed that little experience of us feeding the stingrays. Now it's time to snorkel with them, get you some great underwater footage of the Stingray Lagoon and the stingrays that are inside of Castaway Cave. finished the stingray adventure here at Castaway Key and to say that it was amazing is an understatement. Had a couple people that also were with us. What do you think? Alright, so at first I didn't realize we were actually going to feed the stingrays. We actually got to feed the stingrays because it was pretty cool. Um, then finally snorkeling with the stingrays. We we traveled out a bit, and um, we didn't we didn't see too too many stingrays. There were uh, a lot there was there were a lot of fish, but then we but then we realized that there were a lot of them were actually blending in because they were burying burying themselves under the sand. So once we took that out, we actually found a whole bunch of them, and it was just a really unique and cool experience. How about you, Lorelai? It was amazing. Again, like how Anthony said, like they were blending into the sand, kind of like a scavenger hunt. And now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I would totally do it again. Just this time, maybe keep my mask on. <laughs> so there you go, friends. That is the Stingray Adventure here at Castaway Key. Now, I will put a note, we did have a little Wyatt with us. He did not do so well. He kind of freaked out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, you might want to think about it a little differently for the younger ones, especially if they get a little skittish. But for us, uh, my younger, my older kids, our 11-year-old, 15-year-old, and then, of course, us adults, it was amazing, as you saw in the video. And let's go ahead and explore more of Castaway Key. 
maybe get some food, and then also show you the adult beach. So there's been a bit of a change of plans. We were going to get some food, but guess what? We're back out on open water because Anthony, Lorelai, and myself are going to check out some underwater snorkeling experiences that you can actually rent here at Castaway Key. It's about $38 for an adult. You get the snorkeling equipment all day. There's the Disney Wish. And we are going to find some cool little things under the water to show you. This is something we wanted to do for a long time, especially after the Stingray experience which you just saw. I think it's a great time, more than so than now, to experience the awesomeness here at Castaway Key Snorkeling Lagoon. So as you can see, we are quite a ways away from the shore now. And again, the Disney Wish and its beautiful majesty there. But here in the Snorkeling Lagoon, they're going to have these buoys. These red ones are going to be some artifacts that uh, kind of like shipwreck type stuff, such as what we're going to show you in a second, and the white ones are going to be apparently Disney ones. We're going to only be able to make the red and white one for now because we want to show you the adult area. But take a look at what we can find. I'm not entirely sure where that is particularly from, if it is from anything. It just looks like it's a pretty cool piece of wreckage. But we're going to head out to that white buoy and see if we can find some Disney magic. We have our first white buoy, but we don't want to look directly below it. You kind of want to look around the area, and around that area you're going to find our primitive piece of Disney magic. Yes, we saw that. That is a Dumbo ride vehicle from Dumbo the Ride at Magic Kingdom as well as at Disneyland Resort. Really cool that they have one down here for you to take a look at. We've reached another white buoy on our way back to the front. And look what we found. Yeah. What did we find, Anthony? I think she's tired. We found Boo's door! Beware. That's something that Christy would love to see, even though she's not out here with us. Boo's door. Monsters, Inc. is one of her favorite Disney movies. It's not her favorite Disney Pixar movie. I think now it's time to get some food, because we are famished. and I made it out of the water and now Christy and I are headed to Serenity Bay. You actually have to take the second tram stop at Pelican Pier to get on to the Serenity Bay transfer because it is an adults only side. He was also used to film parts of the movie Splash featuring Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah. There's also bike and hike trails here, massage cabanas, and of course your line for people to get on and then the food is on the back which is where we're headed next. We've made it to Serenity Bay Barbecue, reserved for guests 18 and older, open from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. We found a seat and we're going to go up and get some food. And just like with any other the food in most of the dining areas and Disney Cruise Line, um, it is included as part of your, uh, for your cruise. So we're going to enjoy some barbecue and even some free ice cream and maybe some soda as well. Let's go and take a look and see what they have on the menu for today. Here at the barbecue, you've got things from different salads, such as macaroni pasta salad, coleslaw potato salad, and grilled sweet corn salad. And you have your different condiment toppings for your burgers. And then of course you're just going to have your buns. They have a selection of Lay's chips and barbecue. And then desserts like brownies and chocolate chip cookies. As well as, looks like some Hawaiian rolls there. On one side of this gentleman here we have 
honey and bourbon glazed seared salmon filet, and then vegetarian bean chili. There's also char goat hot dogs with some steamed corn, and then barbecue ribs, sliced smoky barbecue beef brisket, Cajun special tissue chicken, and marinated ribeye steak. They also have a selection of fresh fruit, everything from mango, watermelon, pineapple, honeydew, cantaloupe, and papaya, as you can see from down here. And then here's my plate. I've got the brisket, the barbecue ribs, the corn salad, macaroni salad, some salmon, and that potato salad. After eating some of our lunch today, I will say the ribs were definitely my favorite thing on the plate. The cold salads were also really good. That corn salad, macaroni salad, the potato salad, I ate all that up. Um, the salmon was okay. It's just a little fishy, maybe because it's been out there a little while. And then the brisket is the same brisket we had um, at Festi uh, Festivals of Flavors on the deck. Um, on deck 11 there uh, in that barbecue spot which again if you want more information about that check out our previous day two video here in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description but overall lunch is great i think it's time to check out the water on the serenity bay side because we like to sit down and enjoy the view as we head toward the beach the first thing you'll see to the left is going to be the castaway air bar which is of course your adult beverages but straight ahead is Serenity Bay. The wind does seem to have picked up a little bit, but out here you're gonna have some hammocks, chairs and loungers and things that you would normally like to enjoy at a beach. We've got ourselves a hammock and I'm gonna pull the GoPro out because we're gonna get in the water. But I also want to say one last thing about Serenity Bay, at least the barbecue side of things. What's great about Serenity Bay is that the food is even a little bit different. Uh, majority of the food you'll still get at the Cookies and Cookies 2 on the non uh, on the family side of the beach. But there's things here such as the steak, which you don't get over there. You get that exclusively here. I believe the salmon may be exclusive and then the brisket as well. Not too sure because I haven't eaten on the other side in a while. But just some other things if you want those options. Come here to Serenity Bay, drop the kids off, have some fun at the Skullos Cove or in their Edge and Vibe options they have here. And uh, yeah, let's go enjoy the water. Got the GoPro out and Christy and I, we're doing like what me and Anthony were doing earlier. We're in seats on the beach, enjoying these waves. They're a little bit uh, fiercer over here in a way than they were uh, on the other side, but we don't have as much of those barrier islands with Hurricane Lee coming through. Either case, the weather's been beautiful. We've had some sun sprinkles. But check out those clouds. This is, this is I, I don't know, we can't wait to beat this weather. Okay, well, a little update. We tried to go deeper in the water to kind of show you maybe you can see some fish on this side. But as I mentioned, with the waves being more than normal, it wasn't very pleasant. There's like rocks sitting right here on the beach side and it was just a hard process just to even go a little further out. So we decided to get back in our chairs and enjoy the serenity part of it, even though it's not as quiet as the past. It's really just a hit or miss, depending on the rain situation, the weather situation. With that hurricane out there, I'm sure that's why we're getting a lot of these waves. Overall, it's still something that you should at least come and visit while here at Castaway Key. You got the opportunity to do that as adults. Then give it a try, you might actually like it. And it might be good at your time of year. Anyway, I think after this, I might be heading back to the boat and then getting ready for the piratey events of this evening. Before we head back to the ship, we do want to come to Castaway Keys, one of their stores here. She sells seashells and everything else. I'm gonna take a look inside, see what they have here. It is all Castaway Key branded merchandise. Of course, they do rotate stuff out regularly. So, what I might be showing you may not be here later on. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in here, but just when I wanted to go walk around and show you what they have. This is on the outside. They also have pale toys and such for your kids if you wanna have them play in the sand because it does not come with your vacation. It's something that you would have to bring on your own or purchase it here. There's also some other shirts on the outside around here. As you can see, they also have sets of goggles and other eyewear and even inflatable beach ball. And then to the side, we have a set of different castaway key towels. 
Now, something we did learn here today is that they do not take Disney gift cards at the store. So instead, they only take your room charge. But what you can do is charge it to your room and then pay to bounce off with your gift card at guest services and they will take care of that for you. Inside, you're gonna have some ornaments from Castaway Key, sunglasses, hats, Javianas. Other swimwear, including this very cute Stitch swimming boxers. Uh, fanny bag, ears, and this nice wine style t-shirt and tumbler. There's also other Castaway Key shirts and merchandise here, including that cute Mickey shirt in the corner. A long sleeve shirt, Castaway Key Bahamas. I believe those might be EVB shirts. We have an interesting lounge fly. More Castaway Key merchandise, as you can see, including swimsuits. We have a seagull from Finding Nemo enjoying his pineapple drink. And then another Castaway Key tumbler. Another shirt here, actually really cool uh, Hawaiian style shirt. And then a Castaway Key 5K tumbler. Now the 5K currently is something you do on your own, an honor system. They don't actually have it organized like they used to a few years ago. Um, but at the end of the race, you can get a medal. Uh, for more details, check out guest services on arrival on your Disney cruise. Apparently they have a duffel bag special as well, and other beach towels, and then on the wall there, and those actually look like what you have here. And then we have different pins as well, and a pin line there and even along this wall. Then we have more graphic tees, which instead of showing you all of these, you go to the wall here and you can see the whole selection of graphic tees they have here along this set of walls. And the second to last wall, we have more tops and beachwear. We're gonna have a water toy, some magnets, Castaway Key frame, stitch shirt, and more Castaway Key merchandise along this wall to round out what they have at seashells, seashells, and everything else. Now we're gonna head back to the ship, take some showers, and get ready for dinner because tonight's dinner, it's gonna be at Arendelle, but it's gonna be the Pirate Night menu. No show tonight, but we'll show you what's on that menu. If you've liked what you've seen so far, make sure you like and share this video, and of course, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We've got Pirate Night stuff kicking off with Pirate Night dinner right about now. We are done getting ready for dinner, and we've stopped by the Bibbidi Baba Boutique, which they transformed to the Pirates League for Pirate Night. Our little friend Wyatt here is getting a pirate zombie look for Pirate Night. It's doing good. <laughs> Take a look at the re-theming they did here. Really cool. Skull and crossbones are all skull and swords. And then different pirate outfits. Now pirate outfits, of course, you pay additional for, as with the makeover. But take a look at how you can get your child all piratey up. I believe this is for ages three to 12, just like at Bibbidi Bar Boutique at the Magic Kingdom, but you can all well, dressed up. Okay, the scary ass of the Seven Seas, are you ready? <laughs> the name is Pirate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, you I like it? So every time you want that disguise, you can be the name Pirate. And now let's turn back again. Ta-da! Look at that, Wyatt. So if you agree, just say aloud the yo ho for me. Yo ho! We got a new pirate! Yo ho! Yeah, they're cool. Look at that. That was a really cool experience there at the Pirates League, once formerly known as Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. But now we are in line to see Captain Mickey as Pirate Mickey.
along with different character photos, just like you saw there with Pirate Mickey, they also have uh, different backdrops throughout um, the ship where you can get some group photos and some really cool, even some magic shots as well. We're going to do a couple of those now, and we also have some we did yesterday on our day two video, which you can check in the link in our description. finished our photo sessions for the time being so we can head to dinner back at Arendelle for pirate night. So tonight we have a Pirates in the Caribbean menu because well we are in the Caribbean and some of our options today include these specialty cocktails, your pirate's nest and the pearl appetizers which sound really good such as that marinated shrimp which I might end up getting the crab cake. Your different soups and salads and we have Johnny cake with mango dip such as what we have here, basically a cornbread and then there's the mango dip, already partially eaten as you can see. Main courses include Jack's Treasure of the Seas, which Anthony likes to get there with grilled shrimp and scallops in a strings of pasta type sauce. We have a grouper filet, which I might try, or the jerk chicken, lamb shake, and then a strip loin for some vegetarian, of course, light note options as always. To be honest, I'm having a hard time deciding what I want today, so I'm going to try a few different things and show you what we've got. So Anthony and Christy ordered this deep-fried Calypso crab cake, which has a Cajun remoulade, green onion and lemon, and I got myself Angelica's lime marinated shrimp, which has chili, white corn, and sweet potato and onion. Both look really good, and we're going to try these out. So the shrimp is chilled, so it's like a shrimp cocktail. Let's see how it is. There's no cocktail sauce, though. It definitely doesn't need that cocktail sauce. That lime marinade just adds that flavor that you're looking for in shrimp that sometimes doesn't have any flavor. Very good appetizer option here on Pirate Night. And Anthony and uh, Sarah over there had the crab cake. So tell us, Anthony, uh, what do you think? That crab cake is next level. Usually, um, crab cakes that I've tried are like really like strong in the crab cake and I really and like I didn't don't really like it that way this one is nice and um, very well seasoned but not too much but not too much just just the right amount of seasoning it's all it's very um it's very soft with the lemon it is um amazing and it's the Cajun remoulade right that sauce just basically seals the entire deal probably my favorite appetizer by far and you'll see here that uh Christy has like a little Mickey Mouse shape because she's got two of those Cajun remoulades not because she liked it because she already had one crab cake in fact she likes it so much she had two Oh yeah, you gotta order two of these. They're just, they're dainty, but they're so good that you just can't have more just one. So how would you compare it to paddlefish? It's up there, it really is. So this one has more of a kick than paddlefish does. Um, if it had the fried green tomato, 
it would top it off, but it's really good. All right, there we go. So if you want to see that paddlefish video of us trying their crab cake there uh, on our anniversary we had a couple months ago, check out the description at that link in the upper right hand corner and we're going to finish enjoying our appetizers. I also went ahead and ordered one of the specialty cocktails for the evening. This is actually non-alcoholic. Um, it's called the Pearl. It has vanilla ice cream with cherry and lychee fruits and it looks like that's a lychee boba in there. So um, we're going to give that a try. To the Pearl. It's very good. It's a nice sweet flavor with that ice cream. And I'm trying to look at the ingredients here while, while I'm talking to you. And uh, yeah, uh, refreshing. I wasn't digging the alcohol option today. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy this and then wait for our uh, entree. Anthony's entree came in and he's got the Jack's Treasure of the Seas, which has some grilled shrimp and seared scallops served with spinach and strings of pasta tomato Provençal sauce and black tomato pearls. The scallops, really good, nice and tender and well seasoned. The shrimp, same deal. It's kind of got like a, a lemony citrusy kick to it that I really like. That pasta though is on another level. It is really good, pairs really well with um, with all the seafood and um, that crisp, that crisp spinach on top adds that nice um, freshness to the dish, and um, I really like, I really like it. All right, and then I got the recommended Tia Dalma's jerk chicken, which is a 48-hour jerk marinated chicken with grilled and that's, that's grilled and served with rice and peas fried plantains and a pineapple chili salsa, as well as Chaval's lamb shank, which is gluten-free. It is a rosemary lamb shank slowly braised in red wine served with buttered green beans and a parsnip mash. Time to try out some of this jerk chicken. I will admit it's on a little on the drier side in my liking, but it definitely has a lot of flavor. And if you'd like jerk chicken, I think you'll like this. It has that kick that you would expect from jerk chicken. I'm going to take another bite. Now, I have this lamb shank as well, which I'm thinking of pulling a piece of. And just looking at it, I'm thinking this is going to be my favorite of the two. So we're going to try lamb shank. It's definitely a meaty piece of lamb. It's not like a lamb um, chop by any means. But the uh, if you think of a pork shank, it's a very similar texture and quality, except we've got that lamb flavor that you might be used to having um, a, lamb, a lamb shank or a lamb chop. What's great, if you don't know what you want, you can order both. If you want to experiment with different tastes, it's all paid for already. Might as well try it. We're going to finish dinner and then move on to some dessert. Dessert is here and Anthony's already digging into his pirate treasure sundae, which is pineapple and coconut ice cream with pineapple, whipped cream, and Florentine chard. I ended up with the signature dessert, which is their caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart, because I do love macadamia nuts. It's served with whipped cream and a caramel ganache. And then Christy has the bananas in paradise, which is a layered banana bread with hazelnut fudge filling, otherwise known as Nutella, served with a banana spice puree. How is it? It's really good. Really good? Really good. Anthony, how's your ice cream? Amazing. Enough said. Yeah. Let's try some of this cheesecake. So after looking at the uh, cheesecake tray they put down on in front of me, I do remember having this before. And I'm pretty sure I liked it, so we're gonna give this a try again. We got more of the crust than anything, so I'm gonna try now with the actual cheesecake. I'm not shaking my head because I don't like it. I'm shaking my head because it's so amazingly good. But that's not all. They actually presented us with another dessert on the table that we didn't order, and it's not on the menu, but they're doing it just because we love it. The special dessert they brought us that we didn't order and it wasn't even on the menu is this creme brulee. So we're gonna do the crack test here. Look at that. Oh, this looks so good, so wonderful. Now it's time to give that a try. I have no words. This is the dessert that we used to have on the Disney Dream and Royal Palace every year when we went on that cruise. And our head server, Kruno, has actually been our server that we've had pretty much during our three Disney Dream cruises, and he's here with us this weekend, or this week. And I think that's why he brought it to us, but this is just, I have no words. I'm gonna finish eating this, and then we're gonna get on to more piratey things. 
We've made it to Mickey and Minnie's Pirates in the Caribbean show. Come on, ski land lovers. Let's hear it for your favorite pirate crew, Pirate Donald. Wow, wow, wow. Party was pretty cool, and we're just prepping up and ramping up for the pirate party tonight. But before that, we're gonna do some Disney Parks trivia. Don't know how we're gonna do, but we'll find out and take you along with us. Hello, welcome. Rocking the socks, thank you. Thank you. They're wonderful um, socks. I don't get to choose them, Disney choose them. How's everyone doing? Hi, future me to see on YouTube. <laughs> you got a you have to put great angle of me there, double chin and all. I said he's ready for Disney Park <laughs> Trivia! Thank you, I thought I got on the wrong cruise ship then. Yes, so here we go, question number one. Something's a little difficult, so I'll try and give you a hint where I can. So where will you find Disney Explorers Lodge? Alright, question number two. Who likes Epcot? Me! This should be an easy one. Okay. Name one of the two countries that were not in the World Showcase when it first opened. Alright, question three. In which two Disney parks can you visit the Marvel Avengers Campus? Alright, let's go to question number four. Which phenomenon was introduced to Disney World during the Millennium Celebration, interacting guests with cast members from all around the world? All right, moving on to number five. <laughs> oh, welcome to my trigger, everyone. What was the name of the Donald Duck boat found in Toontown in Disneyland? Question number six. Disney Springs, is along which body of water? All right, I question number seven. Oh, this is a sports question. Who came to the wrong trivia? All right, so who was the first athlete to say, I'm going to Disneyland? All right, question eight. Which television star appeared in the Hollywood Studios attraction, Sounds Dangerous? 
Sounds dangerous at Walt Disney World Resort. Hong Kong is made up of more than 250 islands. On which one is Hong Kong Disney located? <laughs> okay, question 10. In which Walt Disney Studios Park restaurant would you be able to sit on oversized champagne corks at a giant jam jar table? Question 11. Here we go, Walt Disney World question. Exactly where did Disney open their first ESPN club? Oh, you're, you're right. right. Okay, question you're 12. Right. You're right. Other than Disney Cruise Line, oh, that's where we are. <laughs> Which theme park can you enjoy Mickey, uh, Golden Mickey's musical? Moving on to number 13. What makes Big Thunder Mountain in Disneyland Paris unique compared to anywhere else in the world? <laughs> Number 14. The jail oh this is a long one. The jail scene featuring the dog holding a key can be seen in every Pirates of the Caribbean attraction around the world. What makes the Shanghai Disneyland version different? Crash your 15. Just get on my broom. Oh, you could be a witch. It's not spooky season yet. That starts tomorrow. I'm not a wizard. I'm a wizard. Harry. What was the name? Uh, <laughs> Troy lost my train of thought. <laughs> what was the name? The water ski show that was performed at Walt Disney World Resort in the 1970s. All right, question 16. In which Disney theme park will you find Nemo and Friends Sea Rider? All right, 17. What, uh, what well-known comedian scored his first job selling guidebooks at Disneyland years before playing Mr. Banks in two live-action remakes by Touchstone Pictures? All right, question 18. <laughs> I've got it, mine's not on. When did Disney cast members start wearing name tags? Question 19. Oh, I like this. Character. Who is the mascot for Blizzard Beach? Number 20. <laughs> what Hollywood actress portrayed Supreme Leader in Captain EO? Oh, that is an ancient one. Unfortunately, we did not do so well. Um, although the best person got 10 out of 20 right, we actually got 8 out of 20. So we were actually one of the last ones to, uh, to have our hands up. But in the meantime, I think we're going to head out to the deck and get ready for some pirate partying and cap off this night with a special treat for those of you watching. Avasti! It's time to put your hands and hooks together for the most rockin' pirates around!
doing the rum? I rum! Pirates! I said you'd have sparkling treasure, and sparkling treasure you had! Not me! Keep on rapping! Aye, aye! those pirate boots and shaking that pirate booty because it is time for your pirate's rocking party after party and shout and let it all night and scream and shout and let it out sing Hopefully you enjoyed the Pirates Rock and Parlay party. Of course, as I, uh, as you probably saw right after the fireworks at the end of that party, there's an after-hour dance party, which unfortunately due to some of the music, I couldn't put all, I can't really put much of that in there. Hopefully I can put some of the, or a lot of the Parlay party in there for you, uh, including the fireworks. We're gonna do what we can. Unfortunately, that pirate party also means the end of day three here on the Disney Wish for Disney Cruise Line. Pirate night is over, but tomorrow is gonna be our day at sea. We're gonna explore the ship, maybe have a little fun, ride the Opera Mouse. Just really recap what we had on our Disney Cruise. Of course, if you've liked this video, make sure you like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And then of course, make sure you watch the video for our day for tomorrow. Uh, and on this entire series of Disney Cruise Line on the Disney Wish. Until then, I hope you have a great, big, beautiful day, and we will see you real soon.